one gifted so here back for another pick a card reading this one is going to be a little brief we're just going to do some color therapy here i am using um the secret language of color cards by ina seagal um i have a full flip through and unboxing of this on my channel if you're interested it should be right at the very um one of the first few videos that I've done recently. So if you'd like to check that out, you can. Um, so I pulled two cards for each pile. You have one, two, and three. Um, so if you haven't had enough time to pick, just simply pause the video and then, you know, pick whenever you feel ready or called to. So let's get started. I'm gonna move these two out of the way so that we can focus on this okay and we have rainbow and the funny thing is is that i knew this was going to come up for one of the piles but obviously i didn't really know which one but i figured this was coming so this is about connecting to spirit and nature as you can see the number here is one so that may be a life path number for some of you all or just the number on the card whatever the case may be for you and so whenever I see Rainbow, I have another deck that has, um, it's a card called Rainbow Dragon. And whenever I see that, it's about being your true authentic self, not holding back for any person, not holding back for society, just coming out as you are. Um, this can be in relation to LGBT, uh, Q community, or just generally as a person accepting who you are and letting, allowing other people to accept the person as you are and not making you feel like you have to change. So um, that's just an example, but but yeah, that looks like the very first card of the deck, and so that's what I feel that is about, and yeah, there may be even some passions for some of you that you feel maybe isn't normal, maybe it's not nine to five, maybe it's just something, it could be a spiritual type related career or just anything in general where it feels like it's less accepted spirit says do what you feel called to do and don't let anybody take that power away from you is what i feel the message is for this today um and this is also about spending time in nature like it says connect to spirit and nature do some meditation um sit underneath a tree go to a park um work with flowers and just appreciating the beauty all around as a person appreciating people in general as the people that they are as well as what mother nature has provided for us so that is card number one for you guys i was about to move on but i keep forgetting that i pulled two cards reset so we have blue so not only we have rainbow so obviously that's going to include blue but we have blue here activate your healing power so like i said some type of spiritual um career maybe you're trying to do or something that's just not the norm that not everybody can do so you have these abilities and spirit says to use them spirit says in order to activate them connect more in nature and it looks like you guys need to work with the color blue blue is also about communication um your throat chakra may need to be worked on here this is about speaking your truth and again, not holding back certain things, being assertive, um, telling people how you feel and your genuine feelings. So, um, yeah, so that is pile one. So we have rainbow and blue, which is one and 37. So the numbers can mean something that may not. Um, but yeah, so I hope this made sense to those of you watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. It's all linked on my channel and I will have um, links to my Etsy shop and website down below where you can book a private reading. Love and light. Hi there, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a pick a card reading, just color therapy and general messages here. Very brief. So let's see what we have here. We have Violet, create a balanced life. Okay, I will flip that over in a second. So this is number 45. So this is about creating a balance, as it says. 
and to make sure when I ever whenever I see the word balance whether it's on a card or just if spirit is giving me the word to relate to you it's all about making sure that there's a fair share of something in your life whether that's give and take um, or just anything, making sure that you're not giving too much and making sure that you're not giving more than you are receiving vice versa is what I'm meaning to say. Um, and maybe balancing work and play, um, knowing that it, yes, as adults, we do have to make sure we get our priorities in check, but also we can't be all serious all the time we have to learn how to have a balance and have fun um but yeah and it looks like i feel like some of you may be having some issues with sleeping with your sleeping patterns so maybe that's another thing you need to get balanced out um And yeah, so sleeping issues and possibly, um, I feel like maybe even past life regression, things that are affecting your life today from things that have happened or maybe that you were traumatized by growing up in your childhood or just again, throughout your past life history. Um, and let's check out our other color. We have gold, attract abundance, 21. Okay, so obviously this is about prosperity coming to you. And I feel like finding value in something is what this is also saying as well. Um, and it looks like you're going to achieve this abundance by creating that balanced life. By making time for work and play and friends and family and things around you and also when gold comes up I do feel the need to say that all that glitters isn't gold the things in life the smallest things in life can be gold it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to you know be this big thing in order for it to be worth something is what I'm feeling to say to those of you who have picked this pile um, and the number on this card is 21 And it also talks about decision making. I feel like freedom with making certain decisions, not um, let's see. But yeah, don't jump at an opportunity just because it's the quickest solution is also what I'm being told. But looks like you guys have what it takes to really achieve a balanced lifestyle that would lead you to success and lead you down a road of having, you know, security and stability. Um, yeah, so that is pile number two so violet and gold create a balanced life in a bun uh track abundance so i hope you this guys i hope this resonates with you guys and um that if you are new you would subscribe if you aren't welcome back and also if you would like to book a reading the description uh, the links will be in the description box below and also follow me on instagram i do follow back um, it is on linked on my channel if you would like my Instagram profile. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome. This is going to be color therapy. We have two cards here. I'm using the Secret Language of Color Cards by Ina Seagal. Um, and we're just going to do a brief little reading here, general messages, whatever wants to come up. So we have Peach, Inhale a Breath of Life. And this is, to me, about relaxing. And I'm also feeling like maybe you need to do some aromatherapy as well as color therapy because the candle is speaking out to me here. It doesn't have to be peach. Um, but 
um, just in general, maybe candles, incense, or just anything that is supposed to be a revolving around um, aromatherapy. Um, but yeah, it looks like There are new possibilities coming toward you as well. And it's all about you taking it in as if you're breathing. So Spirit says breathe in those new opportunities and try not to let anxiety get in the way is what I'm feeling to say also. Um, and yeah, so I feel like that's the message there. I know it was very brief and kind of quick. But yeah, so aromatherapy... And also maybe, you know, some breathing exercise and inhaling and exhaling and just being around things that offer you peace, not things that stress you out. If it stresses you out, it's time to let go of that and bring around new energy. So we have yellow. Purify your body. Okay, so purify your body, whether that means getting away from people in general or just certain toxins, maybe food that's not healthy for you, maybe letting go of alcohol for a little bit, doing a little, you know, alcohol fast for a few days or maybe even a month or so. Um, just letting go of something that you feel like you have to have, but you don't really need, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah. So you kind of have these bright colors here. And I'm being told to say that you do have a very bright future ahead of you. And that there is a need to live in the moment. So you are needing to maybe even spend time by water. Purify to me, you know, gives a sense of being around some type of body of water and maybe a need to drink more water. Um, and some of you may even need to get some sun as well. And yeah, just have a temperance vibe. Temperance and tarot is all about doing things in moderation. So that's the main message, doing things in moderation, living in the moment and having patience. So that is Pia 3. Wish you guys love and light. Hope you have enjoyed this brief little reading. I do have full psychic readings available via my Etsy shop and website if you are interested at great prices. Please do subscribe if you are new and like, share, and comment. Let me know what you would like to see next. I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys are staying safe. Love and light.